Hey, hey, we are playing some more outward, and uh, yeah, we'd like to do Amber, a, my a, friend, a bunch of uh, different things today. Should definitely learn this skill: steady arm, increase impact resistance by ten while you are blocking. Did learn fitness already, so don't need to worry about that. The next thing we should do before we leave are to see if we can acquire a dagger. What can I do for you? All right. And yeah, the blacksmith here actually have a couple of daggers, but uh, yeah, one of them are way too expensive for us. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we will go with that. So there we go. So far, so good. Do you have? Uh, yeah, that looks kind of brutal, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I like it. Okay, and yeah, since we are trying to use two weapon and a bow, we do need to have them on our action bar. So let's uh, let's do that, and we will save the number six spot for our bow when we get one. But with that, I think we are good to good to go, and we will yeah head outside. We'd like to go to the Vendel Fortress today and see if we can uh, yeah take advantage of their hospitality. <laughs> yeah. So, let's see if uh, we can do that. And yeah, maybe even learn another skill that we can use with our new dagger. Let's turn some light on. And um, yeah, I guess we'll grab an extra lantern and some extra flint and steel. There should be yeah a recipe over there. Oh, there we go. We do actually need one of these daggers. We'll come back to that later on when we get over to Vendeville Fortress. So yeah, I think we do need to yeah do some fighting over here. Definitely not uh, the hardest enemies in that world. Yeah, sometimes they have some nice mushrooms, so I guess it's uh, nice to deal with them. Oh, he's bleeding. Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> he's bleeding, but very little. Oh, come on, that was so unnecessary. Okay then, I think there should be a mushroom up here. Don't want the mushroom, but no, no beetle. Okay then, moving on. <laughs> so this path should take us out to the beach. And uh, from there, we will head over to Bentaville Fortress. There we are, and of course, we will be, yeah, doing some looting along the way, obviously. We do need, uh, do need some money. There are actually a couple more skills we will learn in this zone as well. But, uh, yeah, that will be later on. Oh, look at this. We have another, or another. I guess we killed on our pearl bird in the last episode, but uh, this will be the first for now. Let's see, any luck? If we can manage to beat it, that is. No, I guess not. Yeah. Our other pearl bird are actually laying just up ahead. <laughs> Uh, 
and I guess we should have a look inside the uh, starfish cave as well. Do need to enter at the right time to get access to yeah, all of the cave. So that means we do have to do some resting. But uh, yeah, we have saved our lighthouse and uh, yeah, all that nice stuff. So that should not be a problem. So yeah, let's do that. Spend some time more or less. I guess we can do a little bit of sleep and some repairing. And we do need to do some guarding as well. I think... Uh, yeah, that should do, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's uh, pick up our bedroll again. And uh, yeah, I guess we can get some light as well, at least while we are outside of the cave. So let's see. Yeah, first of all, let's break down those. We do need this, so I will keep that. And uh, yeah, do need to do some drinking and yeah, feeding. <laughs> there we go. And uh, yeah, hopefully if we are a little bit careful, we should be able to yeah get the loot inside of here without doing any fighting. So let's see if we can manage to do that. So here we are. Should probably have turned off the light before we <laughs> entered, but I think we are okay. And uh, yeah, we are going to try and be a bit sneaky sneaky. We actually do have a couple of stealth potions we could use as well. But I think we should be able to do this without uh, using any of the potions. So let's see, we do want the blue sand, obviously. Yeah, I think we are actually doing okay. The shrimp haven't yeah, noticed us, at least not so far. But I guess that might <laughs> change at any point. But anyway, we should actually be able to deal with that shrimp anyway, but uh, much easier if we don't have to. So let's see if we can be real sneaky and uh, refill our water skin as well. There should be yeah some clean water down here. There we go and uh, yeah there we go grabbed all that we wanted from here so let's head back out. Let's see if we can catch uh, some fish and maybe collect some blue sand. Guess we'll grab this as well. Probably don't really need the lantern or the light right now. So yeah, I think we will grab some resources down uh, at the beach, where we currently are. And then we will see about uh, moving towards Vendorwell Fortress. And yeah, we should probably have a look for the traveling merchants as well. We did actually pick up a couple of uh, scaled leathers. And yeah. If we can find the merchant, there is a small chance, I believe, that we can buy some more of those leathers. And yeah, we will see if we are that lucky. We will, yeah, make something new. 
but first things first blue si sand are a nice find should be able to pick up some over here as well there should be one more patch up ahead We won't be able to avoid that guy. Let's see if we actually can, yeah, deal with him. Yeah, I think we should be good. We should be bleeding. Maybe not. Yeah, he's still bleeding. So I guess a little bit of... Uh, yeah, there we go. And there we go. We get to catch some more fish. Oh, and some blue sand. So yeah, as I was mentioning, there should be another patch of blue sand up ahead. We, yeah, we'll grab that before we start to head towards Vendavel Fortress. Yeah, let's get some more fish as well. Blue sand. Nice, nice. So we are heading over to Vendel Fortress in order to learn another skill. A skill we can use uh, with our dagger. We could actually get that skill from uh, a trainer in the city of Levant as well, but uh, yeah, there is. Yeah, quite a bit of a of traveling in order to get to Levant. So, oh yeah, that's a bad time waiting to happen. We will not fight that uh, dark pearl bird. He will probably destroy us. So, yeah, let's not do that. But yeah, as I was mentioning, there is probably an easier way to get the dagger skill if you don't mind the long travel but yeah since we are here and uh, I haven't actually yeah done this might not have ever done this before actually got that skill in Vendable Fortress so yeah I guess it's about time So yeah, this is a place where you can find the traveling merchant. I believe we will visit two more places where we can find him before we get over to Vendeville Fortress. I guess I can show this on the map as well. Should be up here. And of course, let's have a look. Yeah, we should probably keep a lookout for the pearl birds as well. If we are lucky, there might be, yeah, one kind of close to us. We might actually find one over the ridge here and to the right. Yeah, I guess we are out of luck. We 
we are moving towards the next location where we can find the traveling merchant. We might encounter him just over yeah, the top of the mountain to our right here. And yeah, there's also a safe place to rest up there. So yeah, if you need that, that's also a thing. And yeah, sometimes there's a pearl bird moving around over here as well. Guess we are out of luck regarding that. And yeah, no traveling merchant, but anyway. There should be some loot up here, so we will grab that before we move on. Yeah, we will leave that behind. And uh, yeah, we should be up here somewhere. So now we will move towards Svendal Fortress. And uh, yeah, this is the final location before we yeah get to the fortress. We should be able to, uh, yeah, if we are lucky at least, should be able to find the traveling merchant. Yeah, probably don't need this, but uh, yeah, I guess we are bringing it, bringing it along anyway. <laughs> We should have uh, yeah, seen the traveling merchant from over here, if he actually was on that uh, last location. So yeah, I guess we won't be doing trading, at least ri not right now. But yeah, let's head up here real quick. Should be a rich iron vein. So I was thinking about, uh, yeah, I guess we can break down those, I was thinking we should have, oh look, we do have some tripwire traps, and to make our lives a little bit easier, I think we should make some more before we enter Vendel Fortress. Uh, yeah, not the easiest place to fight. Don't really have a lot of space down there. So, whoa, got the power coil. So, let's have a quick look. We have, uh, yeah, we need more spikes. So, let's make that first. There we go, four pieces of uh, iron scrap. And let's see if I can remember the other recipe. Something like, uh, oh, we don't have any cloth. Okay, okay then, I guess we are actually not able to make any more tripwire traps. Yeah, that's a little bit sad. We could see about uh, beating up some bandits. Maybe that's the way to go. Should be some bandits outside of uh, the fortress. Oh, there we go. That should provide some cloth. So let's see. I think it's two, two, and one, and one. There we go. 
So yeah, at least we have some traps. But uh, I guess if we can get some more cloth, I guess we could make some more. And yeah, we are almost out of uh, water as well. Yeah, I guess we will just have to manage. So let's have a look around here. Ah, here we go. We have uh, one bandit. Do you have anything? Yeah, you do. There we go. Let's just keep our distance. There should be another bandit over here somewhere. So let's see really quick. Yeah, we do have... No, no, no. Yeah, didn't want to do that, but okay. There we go. And... Uh, yeah, I guess we are out of wood now. No, we are not. Oh, I guess we are dealing with this last bandit before we make some more stuff. There we go. And yeah, we will grab that. So we do need to eat some stuff as well. Hopefully we have, uh, yeah, we should have, there we go. Let's see, I guess we will get rid of some burnt stamina as well. So how are we doing? Yeah, that should probably, yeah, I guess let's play it uh, safe. Yeah, we are out of scrap now, so I guess we aren't making any more. But yeah, that should probably be enough. Hopefully. I guess we'll find out. So, I guess we are, more or less at least, ready for Vendeval's hospitality. <laughs> if we can call it that. So yeah, here we go. So, we will talk to this guy. Well now, what do we have here? A lost traveler? We'll yeah. take good care of you. And we will see if we can have or we can find a place to rest for a while. What can I do for you? And yeah, there we go. We lost all of our things and uh, yeah. Guess we are a prisoner here now. <laughs> Working in the mines below Wendell Fortress. So yeah, I guess this is our life now. Doing, yeah, some mining. So if memory serves, we should be able to get out of here relatively easy. Do you need to bribe one of the guards? And uh, yeah, let's not forget the reason we actually are down here. We want to learn that uh, dagger skill as well. So I believe in order to do so, we do need to make, yeah, a basic dagger. And in order to do so, we do need cloth. So I guess we will sacrifice our boots. And then we should be able to, yeah, I guess we don't have the recipe, but uh, that should be, yeah, there we go, turned into a dagger. And I believe you are the person that can teach us the skill, maybe? Damn! Yeah, we will give our dagger that we just made to this person. Give me a hand, will you? <gasps> mm -hmm. And there we go. We have learned backstab. And we actually got some silver as well. So, yeah, why not? Let's... Uh, 
Guess we'll do that. So the next thing. Okay then. Yeah, I guess that didn't turn out in your favor. And I guess we get our bag dagger back as well. So that's nice. Yeah, sad. And actually, if you really, really want to, you can uh, get out of here by jumping down here as well, I believe. But uh, yeah, let's not do that. What is it? We should be able to turn in our iron scraps. All right, you've earned this. For some silver. What is it? All right, you've earned so, this. Oh yeah, let's do that. What? Huh. All right, you've earned this. What is it? All right, you've earned this. Listen up. How much do we actually have? Yeah, there we go. And then I guess we do have to sell some stuff. Is there something you need? Hopefully we should be able to get... Uh, yeah, we do need 30 silver, so yeah, that's... Uh, let's see, what are we... Oh, we are... Do we need a couple more? I guess we are... I guess we can sacrifice our dagger. Is there something you need? Oh, yeah, can't sell that. Is there something you need? I guess we will have to break it down again then and turn in the scraps for the last piece of silver. What is it? All right, you've earned this. Listen up. There we go. Now we should have enough to bribe this guard. What? Hmm. Do this for me. Do this for me. Do this for me. Oh no. Come on. Do this for me. Do this for me. There we go. And yeah, we are still locked in here, but we have access to, yeah, a bigger part of uh, Vendavel Fortress. Oh, and we do have some loot over here as well. So let's grab that. And here we have a kitchen, so we could make some stuff over there if we, yeah, could have some ingredients. Yeah, I guess that's locked off as well. And yeah, on the other side of this gate, I believe we will find the rest of our equipment. But by entering that place, everyone inside of here will get a little bit angry. So, <laughs> yeah. We do have to, yeah, take that into consideration. But yeah, there we go. Hopefully, we should have some time. Yeah, there we have all of our stuff. And we do need to... a little bit of inventory management here. Why are we carrying so much stuff? Yeah, I really don't know. But yeah, let's break down that and the maze that should help at least a little bit. And we have a lot of space in our pockets. So yeah, most of our potions go up there I guess yeah let's do those as well and yeah let's there we go I think we should be more or less good now but yeah before we start moving too much around let's place out some of uh, the traps we made to at least try to make it a little bit easier for ourselves. Some of the guards down here can be a bit hard to deal with. So 
So yeah, this should definitely make it a lot easier. Guess we are just placing out every single trap that we actually have. Don't actually know if it's safe to yeah move out into the hallway. <laughs> There we go, that's uh, the last one. And uh, yeah, at least we aren't carrying too much now. So <laughs> I guess that turned out in our favor. But yeah, let's have a look around. If we could manage to, yeah, fight the enemies one at a time. There we go, that's a backstab. So that works out just fine. <laughs> Yeah, so if we can fight them one at a time, should have... Oh yeah, that's not one at a time. That's... Uh, let's see, can we trick one of them to get over here? Probably not. Oh, some of them left. Yeah, let's see. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, that's... That's just a rude. Oh, yeah, that's bad. I guess we are using our traps. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> that worked out just fine. So hopefully, actually, let's see. Yeah, the first guy didn't have a key, did he? No, he did not. But one of the guards should have, I think. Yeah, there we go. So we should have the key now. So we can open the gate and get out of here. But yeah. We will of course at least have a look at the loot. Oh, there are potion and stuff here as well. Yeah, that's probably... Probably, yeah, way too heavy for us. Let's see, I guess we could uh, move some more stuff probably into our pockets. There we almost. So yeah, let's eat that. And... Uh, There we go, that should take care of it. Nice. So, I, I'm not sure, but I think we have dealt with uh, everyone down here. I guess we'll find out. We are able to do some cooking now, so that's nice. So, we actually do have a decent amount of stuff. There we go, we'll have a quick look. Yeah, we could probably have made some more stuff, but uh, yeah, guess that will have to do. Do we have a lot of cloth? We do have some. So yeah, let's make, why not? Three fire eggs as well. And maybe, yeah. Should probably do this when we get back to town, but uh, yeah. There we go. Let's see real quick if we can make some potions as well. Do we need to be a little bit careful. Yeah, but I don't think there's any more guards. So let's see, we could make Could make some cold stones. Yeah, but let's not do that. That will actually increase our weight, I think. So we won't do that. Let's see, do we have anything? We probably have, yeah, very little water. So let's not actually. 
But yeah, let's see. Do we have the key we need to get out of here? Yeah, there we go. And of course, we do have some... Yeah, if we want to go out that way. <laughs> we do have some guards. More guards we do have to deal with. So instead of that, I think we will try another way out of here. But yeah, before that, let's have a look in this ornate chest. And uh, yeah, all of that looks kind of good. But yeah, the axe is uh, probably too heavy for us. So we will leave that behind. And uh, yeah, let's uh, try this exit instead. Do have to do some fighting down here as well. But uh, yeah, should be a lot easier. Any more stuff here? Ah, guess not. Here we go. I think there is a couple of uh, troglodyte inside of uh, this cave. So, yeah. And I guess we don't really have to deal with them if we don't want to. Could just uh, run through here as well. But... Uh, yeah, I think we should be... I guess we can use a rag as well. Why not? Let's do that. Oh, and uh, yeah, one of them are already here. Oh, the other one as well. Let's try to avoid that guy. So yeah, as you see, we could just uh, pop out if we wanted to, but uh, yeah, let's see if we can pop the gate there. Let's see if we can deal with this guy. I should probably have applied some pain. That would have been a smart decision. So let's bait out. There we go. And uh, yeah, we should be a lot easier to deal with. So far, so good. So yeah, let's uh, grab some loot, I guess, before we before we will finish this episode. Oh, nice! We got some palladium as well. Think we will be needing that in the next episode. If uh, yeah, everything goes as planned. And we are a little bit lucky, I guess. We should be able to make a new weapon in the next episode. And yeah, that will be... Yeah, that will be nice. And uh, yeah, let's grab all of that. We are carrying a lot of stuff, so I guess we will have to head back to Cerso as well. But uh, yeah, I guess we will worry about all of that in the next episode. But yeah, for now. Thank you so much for watching and as always a big special thank you to all the people that like, subscribe and comment to my videos. I really do appreciate it so thank you so much. I'm JT, take care and bye bye.